A controversial piece of legislation passed today in the Maine State Senate that is going to legalize assisted suicide. Now, this narrowly, narrowly passed in both the House and Senate, passing in the House by a vote of 73 to 72, and then passing in the Senate by a vote of 17 to 14. I mean, this thing was close. And this is not the first time that the state legislators have tried to pass this particular piece here. They have tried several times before in the past, and it has failed. And this time, it passed, but just barely. Now the bill is going to go over to Governor Janet Mills' desk, where she has not really said whether or not she is going to sign this bill or not. Her position on this is still up in the air, and she has said before that she's not quite sure how she feels about it. Now, this legislation would enable doctors to provide lethal doses of medication for terminally ill patients that would hold them basically not accountable and it would not be counted towards suicide or, or attempted you know, murder, anything like that whatsoever. They would be completely in the clear. Also, those subscribers, those actually subscribing the medication or even administering to it could not be held on any sort of murder charges as well. Now, a lot of arguments in the Senate about this some Republicans arguing for the bill, some arguing against the bill. One Republican senator in particular said that she agrees that the bill should be put into law. She compared relatives of her own that were suffering from terminally ill diseases that were suffering. And she said drugs like this would have helped them to be able to check out on their own terms. So that's what she was pushing for. She says that all patients should have the right to decide. When it went over to another Republican senator, he disagreed with his fellow Republican senator here in the Senate, stating that he had also relatives that were given terminally ill diagnosis from doctors, but then ended up living for several more years after that. I tend to take his position on this personally for myself because he said what we're doing here with this bill is that we are eliminating the option of hope. We are completely eliminating that option of hope and going right to an assisted suicide measure. Now, as Christians, we believe in God and we believe that God has the power to heal anybody that he chooses at any point. Does everybody get healed? No, not all of the time. But there are people that report on miraculous healings that take place after they have been given terminally ill diagnosis. So a bill like this would prevent a miracle from actually happening. So. For myself personally, I hope this bill does not actually go through, and I hope that the governor actually, you know, vetoes it. Whether or not she will or not, I don't know. That remains to be seen. But I expect more states to push forward with this type of legislation. And if they do, I believe it's truly going to be sad to see that America is really going to be embracing this culture of death, where we're already slaughtering the unborn, all sorts of extreme pro-abortion measures being signed into law, and now with assisted suicide measures also on the table. It doesn't look good for America down the line. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the bill here in Maine? Do you support it? Are you against it? Should be an interesting conversation. Let me know down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also, subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.